All right, what is up, guys? I'm gonna have a nice little video today, hopefully, on uh, showing you my uh, spinnerbait trailer hook setup. And I'm gonna promise you that uh, it's not gonna be as long as the last video. Uh, it's pretty funny that uh, after the last video was worth it, I think watched it first, and he texted me and he said, "How do you make a video eight minutes long on a bag?" And I'm thinking, "It's a lot of stuff in that bag, dude." But anyway. It was a little long video, and I'm gonna promise you this one's probably gonna be about two minutes. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you, like I said, my uh, trailer hook rig um, for my spinner baits, and um, I hope it'll help you bass fishing. And I'm gonna get to it, and I'm gonna show you to you in just a second. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this good. First of all, for a spinner bait trailer hook, start off with a nice, good size spinner bait. This is a three eighths. That's what I normally throw in rivers is a good 3 8 ounce spinner bait, tandem blades. Um, white's my normal color, but sometimes I go to chartreuse if I'm fishing for smallies or something, or sometimes I go to black. Uh, but anyway, that's what I normally throw. It's a booyah, 3 8 ounce. Now for the trailer hook, you want a 4 out laser sharp O'Shaughnessy hook from Eagle Claw. These have a bigger eye on them see the eye but what you don't want to do is you don't want to get a five alt because that eye is too big to get the tube over and a three alt is too small so you got to go for four alt then what you do is you take this tubing and i've got this tubing a long time ago uh actually down at k martin myrtle beach and it's j and j's tackle or jt's tackle they may be out of business but i'll cut a, i'll make a link to it if i can find it what I do is I cut a piece of tubing about that big, right there, and I put that on the hook. And you got to wet it, and it takes a second. But I put it right there. I don't slide it down any farther. And then what you want to do is line it up even, make sure it's parallel with the hook, put it right in the center. And that's your trailer hook right there. What I like about it is it's red, almost like the bleeding bait hook things. And I've used this for years before the bleeding bait hooks are even out. Is you got a real red right there to, to find some attraction. It doesn't flop. A lot of guys like their trailer hook floppy. I don't like it floppy. Another thing about it, it rides over something like that. It's not floppy. I don't know if you see that, but see that thing's just not flying. That's the way I like my trailer hook. Don't like it the other way. If you like it the other way, great, but I don't like it the other way. And another thing, if this thing does, this little hole will kind of get loose sometimes. If it gets loose and starts getting a little floppy, what you do is you pull it back off. I've cut this a little long. You push this longer piece of tube that way. And then you've got another spot in the plastic. You can hook it in. That way you don't have to dig through your tackle box to get another piece of tubing out. But I normally make about 10 of these up at a time. And they last me a good time. But that's my trailer hook rig right there. Um, so anyway, if you got any questions, comments, please post them below. And hopefully this isn't going to take more than two or three minutes. Uh, but anyway, I am out. And I hope that helps you right there. Um, but as you can see right there, that's the way I like my trailer hook. And I'll see y'all guys next time, and thanks for watching.